After hard workouts, it's really important to replenish your body with electrolytes and nutrients. I've got a delicious option for you today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where every week we come together in the kitchen and create delicious and healthy recipes. Today we're going to be making a replenishing post-workout drink. Begin by adding one cup of coconut water to your blender. You can either use a fresh young coconut, which I'm going to be doing today, or you can just go get your favorite coconut water from your health food store. Either one will work great. Just depends on what you have on hand and how much time you have. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off this white outer shell until you reach that harder shell underneath, all around the top area here. Coconut water is loaded with electrolytes and amino acids that help repair your tissues after a really hard workout. Once you've cut off that white outer layer, now we really want to break into that coconut so that we can get that delicious coconut water out. And using your knife, you can either use this really sharp part here or just the edge. Either one works. You just want to be really careful because you're going to take it back and really whack it hard. We're going to try to open up this part right here so that we can pull it back and get into the coconut water. All right, and then open it up. Beautiful. Look at that, there's the delicious coconut meat inside. Don't throw that away. And you can see it's all the way filled to the top. I'm just going to pour this coconut water directly into our blender. If you're using a fresh coconut, be sure not to throw the coconut away because it's got all that delicious coconut meat inside. It's a little different than what you normally would find in the grocery store. It can be a little bit more slimy as a consistency, but you can just take a spoon and scoop all of that out. You could put it into a smoothie. You could just eat it directly right out of the coconut shell. It's a great activity to give the kids to do. And then keep the coconut shell. This is super fun. You could turn this into all kinds of fun things. Have your kids paint it. You could turn it into a little bowl or a cup to play with. So don't throw that away if you're using a fresh coconut. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of either aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice. And I'm going to be using a fresh aloe vera leaf to show you how to access the gel. Or again, you can always go to your favorite health food store and buy some aloe vera juice. Either one will work great. You want to begin by cutting off both ends. Aloe is excellent for hydration, liver function, clearing up your skin, and digestion. Next, let's cut the aloe vera leaf lengthwise and you want to stay as close as you can right up to the top part and right on the inside, I don't know if you can see that, but there's all the beautiful aloe vera gel. That's what we're going for. So you just want to slice it right all the way down lengthwise. It should be pretty darn easy to cut through. Just want to keep your knife right close to the top. Beautiful. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Now let's cut the bottom part off. So you're just gonna take your knife again lengthwise. Get in there nice and close. There she comes. And there it is. Look at all that beautiful, fresh aloe vera gel, gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is cut into squares about one to two tablespoons worth. We only need two tablespoons in our smoothie today. But what I'm going to do is take all of the extra aloe vera squares and place them into my freezer. And I can use these in smoothies or drinks or just pop them into my mouth once a day, it's excellent for you. And it's also really good for your skin. So anytime you have some irritated skin, you can use that fresh aloe vera gel right on top. Next, let's add the juice from half of a lemon. Lemons are packed with vitamin C and essential electrolytes. 
that provide your body with energy and also need to be replaced after you exercise, like potassium, magnesium, sodium, and calcium. Next, I'm going to add one scoop of our organic greens or your favorite green juice powder. Ours consists of 14 sprouted and fermented superfoods and botanicals that can provide you energy and help support your immune function. Now, if you prefer a sweeter drink, you can add in your favorite fruit. So I am going to add in one half of a banana, or you could add in your favorite berries, or your favorite sweetener like some raw honey or stevia. Always be sure to customize these recipes to your taste. So if you like something cold and a little bit thicker, add in some ice cubes, or use a frozen half of a banana or frozen berries. If you don't like it cold and you would actually just like more to drink, then add in some filtered water. Always be sure to make it work for you. Blend up all of your ingredients. Let's give this drink a taste. That's nice and smooth, very refreshing. It doesn't have any strong flavor. You can't taste aloe vera gel. Um, I do taste a little bit of the banana and I definitely taste that delicious fresh coconut water. I hope you give this one a try and remember, always make them work for you. Thanks for being with me today. I appreciate you and I love hearing from you in the comment section below. Be sure to join me next week for another healthy recipe that hopefully inspires you to get creative in the kitchen. I'll see you next week. Bye.